guys how are you all doing welcome to my channel um, this is going to be a Lorac tutorial for today and basically most of the stuff that I'm gonna be using are from the Lorac brand um, so the only thing I don't have is the eyebrow product because I, they ran out of it when I went there so the color that um, I want is not there so Um, so I already um, moisturized my face with my L'Oreal Paris moisturizer that looks like this. So we're going to start with the primer now, of course. Let me just put that away. The uh, primer that I'm going to be using is the Pore for Perfection Mattifying Face Primer from them that looks like this. It's uh, just basically a primer that helps your skin uh, mattify throughout the day. It has vitamins E, C, and E to help skin appear healthy, youthful, and radiant. Um, I actually love this uh, primer because it does make my um, skin matte most of the day, especially this time of year. It's hot outside. I just apply it right there in the middle where I get um, oiliness and then I take it to the rest of my face as you can see it just I have like I have like big pores right here that shows most of the time and and now I'm going to apply the Lorac natural performance foundation that looks like this that looks like this and I'm in the shade uh, NP4 I don't know what shade this is but one thing I mean one of the things I love about this foundation is I love the packaging look how cool this is I don't need to take any cap because you could just twist it like this and the pump comes out I really love it so I'm just gonna one pump for now I'll actually just make it two pump up in the back of my hand and then apply it outward <laughs> my foundation I apply I spurt some Evian it's called the natural mineral water real quick just to give it some sort of a like you know and it just helps your foundation to look like fresher the foundation is actually really really nice on my skin okay the next one is going to be the uh, concealing which is this is called the cover-up corrector it's really really tiny it's really really cute I got this at Holt look find it better to apply it with my finger And then I'm just hiding that root on the side of my mouth. And then the next one is going to be really, really fancy uh, Lorac Perfect Pore Perfection Baked Perfecting Powder that looks really like this. I mean, I love the packaging because you can totally use this as a mirror. I love it. Um, I'm in the shade medium beige, which is BF3. As you can see, this is just baked. I love it because it's just really, really nice. And it just has a little sheen to it, but mostly just matte. Just dabbing it like that so that I don't get that much product out of it because you know of course it's powdery and we don't want the excess so tap it so I'm just applying first on my concealer I mean under eyes so that we can set that first because that's the first one that will slip and slide and then take it down through the rest of the face Right now I'm just tapping it lightly right to my cheeks because I'm going to 
set it again later and I don't want to add so much right now because I just um, I want to make sure that you know the foundation dries first and then after when I put some blush or apply some blush and you know finalize I will do this again okay so the next thing is going to I'm just gonna finish my eyebrows real quick I don't have one I don't have any Lorac eyebrows so I'm just gonna be using my Anastasia brow product which is you know just the pomade and this all right now that the brows are ready I'm going to go with the next step which is going to be the um, shadows using the Lorac palette pro Lorac pro that looks like this this is their original Lorac pro palette so I'm just going to use one of this espresso and the sable and the mauve uh, this three right here so I already did this side right here now I'm just going to apply it on the other side I'm going to apply the mob first. I'm just going to do a little smoky today. Just blend it to the other side. Now I'm just going to take the sa sable or sable and then just apply it to the outer corner. And now I'm just going to apply the next step with this espresso color that looks like this. Like a V-shape way motion. Other side. gonna blend them all together the next one is going to be champagne that looks like I see that that right there is champagne corner and the center Then blending it again with this brush. I'm just going to use the cream portion, the color cream that looks like a cream. Looks like that. That one right there. This is just matte. So, okay, the next one, which is going to be under the lash line, the espresso again. That right there. Lash line. It just creates a um, smoky effect. I'm just taking it to connect to the rest. I'm just gonna take the garnet color that looks like this. It's just a shimmery, bronzy, has a red tone to it. More of like, let's say, maroon. No bronzy maroon. Take it down here so they will have that fire effect. So you guys can see. It 
has that bronzy effect on the eyes. And now I'm just going to be taking the gold. Really, it's not really gold. It looks like gold, but it says gold. That's a name, but it has a hint of a bronze. I'm just going to apply it right there in her corner and take it like that. This is not really like a gold gold, have like a bronzy effect actually. And then from the inner corner I'm going to apply something else. So I'm going to apply a um, just this color, same gold actually. This color, the same color that I apply in my inner corner. I'm just going to take it from my inner corner and then drag in it just right there. You will just give that connection together and apply to the other side and now another color that will really pop make this look pop and not like really really uh, smoky way I'm just gonna apply the garnet Again, the same color that I apply on the bottom of my lash line. Just gonna apply it just lightly down here. Just to give it some sort of fire. We got all different colors now. As you can see, they all connected. You just have that peak of the red and all the colors together. You just go ahead and blend them all together. Now let's go ahead and move forward with the liner, which is this right here. I'm going to be using the Lorac front of the line that looks like this. It's kind of like matchy with this uh, packaging right here. And I actually love this um, liner right here because it just has a perfect um, you know, applicator. Look at that. And the, the lasting power of this is awesome. Like awesome, awesome. Anyway, so I'm just going to apply it right there. I actually like to start, what is this? I actually like to start like right here and then take it inside. Like that. And the thing about this liquid eyeliner is it just does not transfer to your lashes either. So it's not annoying. Just like a pin. Just perfect for, for people who don't know how to. Or kind of like who is still practicing. This is a perfect eyeliner for you. Because it just does, does not um, transfer. And it doesn't like smudge that much. Actually it doesn't smudge at all as you can see. I did that in one swipe and I'm just gonna wing it out just real quick just like that and then from there I'm gonna connect create a V this is actually a really long wearing liner I love it and smudge proof so as you can see it just gives it some sort of a, like fire now I'm going to be doing the other side. Okay. 
just creating some sort of an edgy wing eyeliner. Oh my gosh, I love, I so love this liquid liner. It is kind of hard to match the size of the, um, you know, liner most of the time because your eyes is kind of like not the same shape. So anyway, I'm just going to add a little bit down here which is kind of like dot just to create the animated look that is fierce for today all right the next step is going to be oh i don't have any lash curler from them so i'm just going to be using my langum of course so i'm going to curl my lashes i'm not going to use any um false lashes because i don't really like to wear that i just don't i think it's better to find a better mascara rather than to keep wearing one of those. There's still I'm gonna be using the Laura Cobra Cobra mascara that looks like this. It's like you know, it's like I love this mascara because it has a really really nice applicator. As you can tell, this looks like Cobra actually. You guys can tell the shape of it looks like Cobra. You know do this tutorial today so I'm applying it like that I actually love this mascara it just makes my lashes like full and gives it some sort of its own fake fall lashes as you can see see it just makes my Lashes wide awake. I'm just gonna apply the bottom one. Big lashes. Can't get over. Look at that. Compare to the other side. Okay, apply the next one. the bottom lash line good thing about this mascara is it doesn't and that is the mascara add another concealer because it's kind of like the shadow is kind of making it darker And then the nose. This is going to be my highlighter for the bridge of my nose. Actually, bronzer first. I'm going to be using one of this palette. Um, this is um, this is a palette that I got last year, um, Lorac Pro to Go. This is basically a shadow and everything that you need. It has a shadow in it, and in the back it has like me. Oh no, there's no mirror in it, but it has like two different blushes and a bronzer and so I'm gonna be using this all three just gonna sculpt my face just like that right just blending it and take it to my hairline and then let's go ahead and contour with this I gotta go set my concealer. If you want a slimmer face, learn how to contour, man. Learn how to contour because it just really helps you look a lot um, slimmer. As you can see, 
All right. Ahead with the next one, which is I'm gonna apply the matte, and then the next one is going to be a shimmery blush right here. There's two different uh, blushes, which is this right here is shimmery, and this one is matte. So I'm gonna apply that first. I'm gonna apply it in one of these essential bl brushes lightly, just like that. You really don't need to smile like this. <laughs> you can just smile normal. Okay, and then apply the other blush, which is called Coral, right here to the top. So they just give you some sort of a um, shimmer glow. And then take it to the nose part. Okay, so I'm going to tell you the names of this um, blushes. So this is basically coral, pink, and this is the bronzer. Duh! Okay, so on this part right here, it has a mirror and it has a shadows. So I'm going to take this um, pearl. This is basically a highlight. But I'm just going to take this right here to use it as a highlight. Now I'm going to take it to my Cupid's bow. And then my nose. It does the job all right so that would do the look now I'm just gonna set everything else with the same baked powder that I used earlier just tap the brush so that you don't use a whole lot of the product I'm just blending it it all together there's no other way to apply this but to make faces like this There you go. Then apply a little bit to the brows. Look, I love Lorac products. It's just so amazing. It just just give you some sort of like a celebrity look, you know. And now it's all set. Let's go ahead and finish the rest of the look, which is the final look. I'm gonna be using the. Um, this first, which is the lip liner from them, it's called uh, Lorac 05. This is the number of the lip liner that I'm going to be using. It's just basically one of those, like a rose color, mauve pink color like that. So I'm just going to line my lips with this. This way, since the, the camera is on this side. I don't know why it looks red there, but it's not. I'm just outlining it a little bit just to give it some sort of like, I have a big lips. Next step is going to be, which is the last step, is going to be the Lorac. The lipstick that I'm going to be using is the Lorac Pro called Matte Lip Color in, what is this, Rouge Pink Rose. That looks like this. This is actually, this is probably new. Because I just saw this at the store and I'm like, I've never seen that before. So I got it because it's matte and I love everything that's matte, basically. You have a chappy lips. So I'm just going to apply it all over my lips. It just, it just blends the other color. Which is, it just gives some sort of a, like, um, a natural, neutral look. But, of course pink I mean rosy pink I don't know what I'm trying to say I actually like this lip matte it's just that it does not last a long day of course you have to reapply it especially if you use it a lot so that would be the last part and now let's go ahead and set everything else with my favorite L'Oreal Infallible Pro Spray. There you go. So I'm just going to dab the spray all over my face because we want to be able to set that. Alright, 
so this is going to be the look of the day so my hair is just basically a little bit fish braided today because it's so hot outside and I can't take it and my hair is kind of long so of course my usual simple hairstyle anyway this is gonna be the look So this would be the video for the day of this Lorac tutorial and I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below if you have any questions. And don't forget to please subscribe to this channel. And thank you guys for supporting me and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye!